Mega Maniacs. You got Mr. Mega Man fan here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You know all the things to do. Today on Retro Hunting Adventures, we're doing more Evercade versus games because I realized the pack-in games. I had never even opened or tried the pack-in games. And I don't know if there will be any bonus games by pairing these two together, but with 10 games on one and eight games on the other, I don't think it'll be hard to figure out if there are. So let's go ahead and get them open and see what we find inside. All right, that's the Data East collection and it's showing us 10 games as it should. The Technos collection has some Equally worthy games, Combo Tribes, Double Dragon 2, Double Dragon 3. I don't know anything about Minky Monkey. It kind of looks like a bad ripoff of Donkey Kong, but I suppose we'll know soon enough. The Technos card in. And it looks like we've just got 18 games. No bonus game for pairing the two pack ins together, which doesn't surprise me given they are different publishers i mean it is data east and technos maybe if it was data east volume one and two and technos volume one and two it would be a little different story it is what it is let's take a look at this arcade game collection compilation set of games where shall we start Let's, uh, you know what, let's go with Burger Time. I feel like that is a good place to start. Play. I can already tell these are arcade games because they take a little longer to load up. Interesting that it says Deco. That was a tape loading system for arcade games where the arcade operators could swap a tape in and get a brand new game. Let's see, how do you add a coin in this? Select. Oh, there we go. Select is what does it. Yeah, I can tell this is the arcade version because it's zipping along pretty fast. Some of the other versions can be a little bit slow by comparison. controls the salt and the pepper, which I just failed to collect there, so my bad. There it is. It was the B button. That salt and pepper bonus disappears so fast, and I killed myself trying to get to it, so got a lot of good it did. Maybe I can get to it this time. No! Gosh darn it. This 
game really busts your balls. Alright, here we go. Four complete burgers. Well, if there's one level that I just can't stand, it's this one. Because they don't even stagger all the items evenly. Makes it a literal nightmare to make the burgers because you can't go up and down on all four platforms. You can only go up the ones in the middle. I'm gonna run out of lives before long here. Yep, I'm out. Well, that was a successful test, I guess you can say. Not an impressive score, but at least we know it works. the versus controller the more I feel positive feelings about it I wasn't at first very sure about it when I first unboxed the system but once I used the Evercade versus controller a few times I, I kind of like it now let's quit back to the menu and pick a different game how about double dragon 2 Select to insert a coin. Start to play. Once again, you can tell this is the arcade version because the graphics are much more fleshed out than the NES version. Volume's a little low on this one for some reason. I gotta stop getting my butt kicked here. Where's my skin kick move? Ah! I'm getting manhandled. That's better. Oh, I get the feeling that it's directional. My attacks are based on which way I'm facing. Yeah, that was my problem. I needed to be hitting X for enemies to my left and B for enemies to my right. That's my fault. Now let's hear it a little better. I don't want to throw that weapon away. Hang on to it. This weapon is doing. All right, can I just try beating people up here? That's more like it. Knocked it right out of my hands, and he did it again. Timing is way off compared to the NES version. Oof. And the Game Boy version for that matter. Alright, 
right, let's add an extra credit and keep going. Gotta figure out what the right distance is to be away from them when you throw the strikes. Oh good, took care of the big guy. Oops. See, I was too close there. I should have known better. Oof. She threw a knife. I'm dead. got some slowdown here. Too many objects on the screen. You'd think an arcade game would have been able to handle that. Stop throwing the damn night. At least we're not getting slowdown now. Oh yeah, that's right. This guy does the disappearing act. Two. And you know what? I'm ready to bust out of this. Let's uh, let's play something else. What's Minky Monkey? I really have to know. I got to know. Suck has got to know. Came out in 1982. That even makes me think it's a Donkey Kong Jr. ripoff all the more. Produced by Technos Japan. Complete five monkeys messages. Proceed to the next level. Failure to complete five messages, you lose a life. Ready? Go! Bring up Apple. A strange game. It definitely has some similarities to Donkey Kong Jr., though, no doubt about that. Ready? Go! Freaking 
monkeys. All right. At least we know what that game is about now. Save it and try something else. Battle Lane Volume 5. The ultimate in mobile combat. Now let's do Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja. Sounds like more fun. Yeah, it's already more fun. For sale, one like Echo game. Once again, who's bad? Versus Dragon Ninja, isn't there? like Shredder. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this thing up. I caught a bundle collection just like they're making for PS4, PS5. That would be a nice way to play into the Evercade versus retro aesthetic. All of the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games. Don't know what it would cost them to license that, but I think it would be worth it. Alright. So, my review of these collections. Technos and uh, Data East is a thumbs up. Haven't even gotten to all the games yet. Uh, I've got Chain Reaction for some puzzle action breakthrough for some arcade combat let's do lock and chase real quick before we wrap this up because lock and chase is an old favorite of mine i'm particularly fond of the game boy version which i believe was covered by jeremy parish of retronauts <laughs> It's definitely that old maze chase maze exploration type of game. Clear the level by getting all the dots, picking up bonuses when and where you can. Unfortunately, you can get cornered quite easily. money don't you worry I said hey baby I got your money good thing there's no time limit Money disappeared so fast, I never had a chance. Oh, cut it close there. And the exit is open if I can get to it. Yeah, suck it, cops. It's an old school fun game. Can't really go wrong with Lock and Chase. Alright, that's it for this video. Thumbs up for these two pack-in titles for the Evercade Versus. They're not all gems, but there's enough arcade classic goodness that I think you'll be satisfied. I know I am. <laughs>